Pleasance was an amazing setting for Shamanic. It's an iconic fringe venue. It is in the heart of Edinburgh. It's a historic setting, beautiful, yet very intimate architecture. One of the most wonderful things about the Pleasance was that we were able to do not one, but two buildings, something we have never done before. Both of them are in the same courtyard, but they have completely different character. And just as music and painting influence each other, architecture influences our show as well. One of the most wonderful things about this show is that there can never be the same show on a different building. Because the building, in a sense, is your co-creator. If you think the building, the building is a canvas, these are two totally different canvases and they determine the painting which is created on them. As someone who likes to paint a bit, also it's just been an amazing opportunity to merge both art, art forms, you know, the visual and, and musical and you know, physical performance as well. So it's um, something that I never really imagined before, you know, I never sat and tried to dream this kind of thing up, so it's like a ready-made dream to me and it reflects back to some of my influences like the Bell Underground. I've just never seen anything like this before, live paint and projection on such a huge scale. And the capacity for us to create music that we didn't dream of either, it just seems to, you know, it, the, the music's evolving with, uh, as we continue. The music's become well, more visual, like for example, um, we did this piece of music, the new piece of music that we've done for the show called Earth and Dust. Um, the lyrics are just very visual lyrics and um, I was imagining Maria painting. Musically I feel much freer because it, we're not fitting into any genre. And also the theme, the shamanic theme, just suggests lots of expansive things. Um, things beyond what we can touch or feel and um, it's always been for me touched on ideas of transcendence and out, out with the, the earth pile. Yeah, well, I think that um, the visuals and music complementing each other are hopefully have the capacity to um, elevate people's spirit and, you know, have them thinking on a spiritual sort of level rather than physical so much. There are little pieces, I think, more of me on, on Earth and Dust that are like drips of paint, you know, they're like spatters of sound that, that resemble, you know, imagery. So I think that the that, that people watching that will maybe be freed up from their normal, the normal constraints of, of, of having to have a, a set meaning and maybe bring their own meaning to, to what we're doing, which is really what art's about in a lot of ways. I think it's interesting the way that it is, has developed, developing things from a feeling and an intention and getting music and art together and see what, ha see what happens. A as it's gone on, it's, it's developing further into, uh, and moving away from that, more into the, a style of its own, I think. So the music is, is completely unique to the show. It's all started with an emotion show, the project which brings together live painting and live music in real time. It's about hearing 
painting and seeing music. I have always seen images to music. It's not a single image, but a developing sequence which tells a story. A story which is quite abstract because music is abstract by nature. The great thing about Shamanic is it's a very fluid creative project and it brings amazing creative collaborators together naturally. I think over time we've developed a core group of um, uh, creative people that, that we work with and that, that's fantastic. One of the nicest things for me is um, getting the opportunity to, to work with people like Kid Congo Powers and Rula Lenska. I mean, certainly from my own experience, I know I've been trying to work with Kid for years and we never managed to, we talked about it, but we never managed to do the collaboration. And then, um, and then the Shamanic project happened and it just gave a kickstart to that whole thing. And then, then you've got somebody like Rula who's bringing a whole different element into the project, which is spoken word with her, yeah, incredible stage presence and uh, stature and just basically the vibe that she has. It just brings something amazing to the whole proceedings. One of the most important things for me is that in shamanic is that music and art come together naturally. It's almost like a band in which one member of the band is a painter. Maria was part of the band, she was like a musician and we were like painters as well, we were like um, so we're all in this paint rock band. There's nothing, there's nothing quite like this. Shamanic is like a dream which can be shared by many. <laughs>